Hi, I'm Bill Cook. I want to talk to you a little bit about property manage management and how to select the right tenant. Um, Kim and I have owned and managed rental property since 1995. Uh, seeing how this is almost 2012, that's a long time. I don't know the math. People always ask me, what's the secret in finding a good tenant? And first is you want to make sure that you have a good application, that the person fills it out completely, and that you, have, you verify everything on the application. And in this case, Kim and I have a, a rental property, one of the properties we manage, and um, it's gone vacant. We're looking for a good tenant to go into it. Last tenant was there for almost five years. So um, we have a good application that came in. Uh, a little bit about it is um, the lady has filled out the application complete. She's been living in her, at a current residence for two years. The reason why she's moving is the uh, landlord of that property is uh, in foreclosure, so losing the house. Um, she has a car, a Ford Explorer, and uh, she has a bank account with checking and savings. She's been on her job for four years. She works at a major retailer. She, her income justifies the rent on the property we manage, which will be $7.95 a month. So her income justifies that, no problem. That's about a third of her, uh, the rent will be about a third of her take home. So we're good there. When I, and all the, all the uh, references she put down, they all check out. They all know who she is. So that's good. She'll be living in the home by herself. Uh, she's not married, doesn't have a boyfriend. She doesn't have any pets. She doesn't have any kids. She doesn't chew tobacco nor smoke tobacco, so that, those are always good pluses. She's never been in a lawsuit. Uh, she's never been convicted of a crime, and she's not having her wages garnished. So everything about this tenant, this, this prospective tenant, this pr prospective residence, resident tells me that this is someone who I'm really looking for. But the one thing I do, and here's the key, when I'm looking at um, for someone to move into one of the properties we manage, there's one thing I do that if there's a key to successful management, this is it. After I've gone through the application, I think this is the person I'm looking for, I will tell them, this is great. What I'll do is I'll, con I'll say, will you be home to, uh, tonight between 7 and 8 o'clock uh, where I can contact you in case there's any questions? And the resident usually will sit back and say, oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll be home. Now, what the resident heard me say is, um, that I'm going to call them. What I said was, I'm going to contact them. And by contact, I don't mean I'm going to phone call them. It means I'm going to go by and knock on the door unexpectedly and announce. The reason why, again, this is critical. The reason why is, however their house looks, inside and out, is exactly, exactly how they'll house, have my house looking, you know, two weeks after they move in. So that's why I want to go by unexpected and take a look at this house. So let me let you see on this tenant that I really like, let me let you see in the house that she's living in now, and uh, let's see if I got fooled or not. So here's the side of the property. Here's what it looks like. As you can see, everything's overgrown. I got some junk there. I have a car here that's not exactly a blazer, so I don't know who that is. The gutters are full, but that's the landlord. But let's kind of look and see what does the yard look like, you know, because that's something that the resident prospective resident can take care of and what I'm seeing is everything's overgrown the grass hadn't been cut vines going across the driveway you tell me does that yard look like it's well maintained and you want to guess what they're gonna have my yard looking like or she'll have my yard looking like just after, just you know a week after she moves in there's an old chair here there's leaves here um, I have broken glass right there, broken glass up there, cardboard holding together. Um, I come around here to the side of the building, and I've got, you can't see this, but there goes a stray cat. So I knocked on the door, but she's not home. But let me ask you. Would you feel comfortable about having this person in your house? So even though the application looks good, been on our job for a long time, running a manager of a retail store, uh, the income works, everything looks really great. I mean, this is, some, this is someone I look for. But the problem is, you know, here. So with that said, 
the chance, unless you can explain why the house looks like it were, uh, looks, and again, I haven't seen the inside. So you better believe there's no way she's getting in one of our houses until I see the inside of this house. So I've already put a phone call into her to say, you know, I must be at the wrong residence. Where are you? Um, something. But this is how important in-home inter interviews are. So when I hear people say that uh, they moved the tenant into their house and the tenant wrecked it, uh, that just means they didn't do proper due diligence. Anyway, so that's a little bit lesson to learn. If you want to be a good landlord, it's not hard to do. It just takes a lot, a lot of follow-up. I hope this helps you. Uh, hope this helps you to be a better landlord. Take care.